A patient on multiple antihypertensives attends with a pedal edema. It's a very common condition. I can't really ask you to think too long for this, but I know that all of you come across. First thing, you raise your hand and say, when we are talking about antihypertensive and hypertension, this session, maybe amlodipine is the culprit. Yes, I do believe, but there is other causes as well, which can cause pedal edema. So we have to rule out. So it is not that you should have a one track mind after this session that, okay, pedal edema, hypertension, amlodipine, throw it away. So whether the patient is having this and this pedal edema can happen years after starting amlodipine also. Look for pallor, look, confirm your pedal edema. Patient just said that I have having this swelling. So even if you are on a video consultation, ask them to show their legs, ask the family member to just press on their, uh, this medial malleolus and see. Check blood pressure, whether the blood pressure is under control or not, whether you have to alter anything. Oscillated base for, of lungs for preps. Arrange for some investigation if you think that is necessary because this anemia, thyroid, kidney failure, electrolyte imbalance, all of these, even heart failure can give to pedal edema. A lot of patients just come to you to know whether they have kidney failure, failure because they know that kidney failure can give pedal edema, but, many, but your understanding of kidney failure is they also give facial puffiness. But you, you have to check this, obviously. Now you thought that, yes, amlodipine should be stopped. Normally what we do, we give a diuretic. Don't give it because it is not happening due to fluid retention. Mechanism is very different. Mechanism is arteriolar dilatation and that causes this fluid extravasation. So you have to, don't add loop, loop diuretic, rather change the CCB to other antihypertensive, even this novel antihypertensive uh, CCBs are better.